Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making two resin beach trays. The first thing I'm going to do is seal my trays and ideally I would do this with gesso but I didn't have any on hand so I'm using a mixture of gel texture, acrylic paint, and pouring medium. I mix that all together into one cup and using a brush I apply it onto the base of my trays. And I also added on a bit of gold paint for a little more color. I allowed that to dry and now I'm going to be mixing in my resin and I'm using craft resin which is a 1 to 1 ratio by volume. I'll have a 10% discount code in my description if you want to give them a try. So I mix in equal parts of the part A and part B and mix it together well for several minutes. Then I separate some into a smaller cup and start to add in my craft sand. I pour that onto my trays and using a silicon makeup brush I make sure that the sand has reached the whole area. I'll have all the products that you see in this video listed in my description so be sure to give that a look. And I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and whenever I use a torch gun I'm always sure to move it very quickly so that I don't burn my resin. And I poured on a bit more sand into the tray and then added in these small pebbles that I collected at the beach. And I started to add in some seashells by the shoreline as well. I'm going to be doing this tray in several layers to achieve depth so I allowed this layer to harden first before I came back the next day to add in my blues. Then I mixed in my resin once more, again pouring equal parts of the part A and part B and mixing that together. Then I separate it into smaller cups to add in my pigments. The first pigment I'm going to be using is this blue shade of mica powder from Craft Resin as well as this mint shade of mica powder also from Craft Resin. And I'm adding in a small amount because I want it to be rather transparent so that you can see the sand and pebbles underneath. I start by pouring my darkest blue at the top of the tray and my lighter one right under. And I use a silicon makeup brush to help blend the two colors together and spread the resin to the edges. I needed a little bit more resin, so in a cup I mixed together the blue mica powder with the mint mica powder. and I poured that in between the two shades. And again, use my silicone makeup brush. Now I came back and I believe it was about 6 or 7 hours later and the resin had already started to harden but was just very slightly tacky. 
So I decided to experiment and try to cause some texture using my fingers or a mixing stick by pushing into the resin. And I just did this out of curiosity of what would happen, but I mixed in my resin once more and poured clear resin over it and the majority of it disappeared. But as you can tell, some of the pigmented resin had leaked over onto the sand and I didn't really like how that looked. So I mixed in my blue resin once more to apply over those areas and give it a bit more of an even look. If you'd like to support my channel or receive bonus content, check out my Patreon page linked in my description. Now I'm mixing in my white pigmented resin to do the waves and I'm using just resin's pigment paste in the shade Titanium White. I always mix the pigment paste in the container first before adding a small amount into my cup of resin. And I apply that to the shoreline. Using a heat gun, I blow out the waves. And I do the same on my second tray. After this layer had hardened, I came back the next day and repeated this same process by adding one more layer of waves. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.